Oh hi friends, I'm so glad to see you. And today, we're learning about giving to God. There are so many ways to give to God. We can give our time by serving in our church or helping others. We can give to God by telling others about Him. We can give to God by showing His love to others. And we can give to God by giving our tithes. We can also give to others. Raise your hand if you've ever shared a snack with your friends. That's awesome! Raise your hand if you've ever shared your toy with a friend or with your brother or sister. You're so good at giving to others. Today let's learn, I will give. Let's say that together, I will give. Everything belongs to God and He wants us to give to Him and others. Sometimes it can be hard for us to give because we want to keep everything for ourselves. But God wants us to give so that He knows He has our hearts and that we love Him. There's a story in the Bible about something amazing that Jesus did. And it all started because one little boy trusted God and gave to Him. We can read this true story in the Bible in Luke 9 verses 10 through 17. That's in the New Testament of the Bible. When the apostles returned, they told Jesus everything they had done. Then he slipped quietly away with them toward the town of Bethsaida. But the crowds found out where he was going and they followed him. He welcomed them and taught them about the kingdom of God. And he healed those who were sick. Late in the afternoon, the twelve disciples came to him and said, Send the crowds away to the nearby villages and farms so they can find food and lodging for the night. There is nothing to eat here in this remote place. But Jesus said, you feed them. The crowd that was following Jesus and listening to him had grown to a huge size. There were over 5,000 people. And they were all starting to get really hungry. So the disciples or Jesus' closest friends said to send all the people away so they could go find food. And instead of doing that, Jesus told the disciples to feed all the people. That's a lot of food to find. So the disciples started walking around the crowd to figure out what to do about the food. And a little boy who was in the crowd had five loaves of bread and two fish. And this little boy trusted Jesus enough to give all the food to the disciples. Let's keep reading to see what happens next. But we only have five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Or are you expecting us to go and buy enough food for this whole crowd? For there were about 5,000 men there. Jesus replied, tell them to sit down in groups of about 50 each. So the people all sat down. Jesus took the five loaves and two fish, looked up toward heaven and blessed them. Then, breaking the loaves into pieces, he kept giving the bread and fish to the disciples so they would distribute it to the people. They all ate as much as they wanted and afterward, the disciples picked up 12 baskets of leftovers. I will give. Let's say it together. I will give. The disciples didn't know what to do, but the little boy trusted and obeyed Jesus. He gave. What might happen in your life if you give to God? He will bless you as he did with the food. Maybe you're not sure where to start with giving to God. Just start by helping others. When you help others, you're serving and that's part of giving to God. Maybe you can start helping at your church. Maybe you can give a toy to a friend who doesn't have toys. There are so many ways to give and show God's love to others. Before we end today, let's practice our memory verse and pray. Those who say they live in God should live their lives as Jesus did. 1 John 2.6 Let's say it again. Those who say they live in God should live their lives as Jesus did. 1 John 2.6 Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you that you bless us when we need something. We pray that you would help us give to those who are in need. In Jesus' name, Amen.